the internet can be helpful, but in many ways can also be dangerous. That's why the FDA just issued this alarming alert for all you parents out there. Take a look. These days, you can find just about anything on the internet. If you're looking for homemade alternatives to the things you use on a daily basis, a quick search can lead to hundreds of results. But recently, the FDA has issued a warning to parents about one do-it-yourself option, baby formula. According to the FDA, homemade infant formula could potentially lead to severe nutritional imbalances or foodborne illnesses, both of which can be life-threatening. This comes after reports of hospitalized infants that had been fed the DIY food. If you're a parent, you may be wondering, why is this so dangerous? And what are the best alternatives to keep your baby healthy? And Jackie, I know this is right up your alley. Yeah. You take care of both mom and baby. Yeah. So what do you think about this? I mean, I think this is not wise. Uh, we don't tell you to, we don't know what's in it. You know, that's most important. And the reason the FDA has formulated the proper formula for babies is they know exactly what's in it. We don't want to create hypocalcemia or low calcium in a baby. And we want to make sure they're not getting infection and things that babies can't digest at that early age. I mean, their stomach is, you know, as big as a little marble. Right. And, and for the first, first year, babies mm -hmm. should not be drinking uh, any type of milk, right? Right, goat, especially raw milk. milk. Yeah. Uh, and raw milk, what is raw milk? Well, it's, it's milk that hasn't been pasteurized. There's a exactly. reason why we pasteurize milk. There's some pretty nasty critters that can live yeah. in unpasteurized milk. You know, some of the other ingredients that these online recipes are including are oils like olive oil and sunflower mm. oil, gelatin, liquid children's vitamins, and as you alluded to, raw, raw milk, milk yeah. unpasteurized, yeah. can pass some right. very virulent uh, bacteria. And, yeah, and babies can't break that down. <laughs> I mean, no. they, they can't process that. No, and, yeah. and Dr. Jackie, how can mothers decide what is, what is the right uh, decision for them? Obviously, don't go to social media and TikTok. Absolutely, I, you know, talk to your pediatrician. You know, the, exactly. Yeah, the American Academy of Pediatrics has has given us all of the guidelines that we need. And, you know, they're mindful of cost because there are different types of, of baby food or baby formulas out there, whether it's dried baby formula, whether it's already mixed baby formula. But you have to find out what's best for you. But make sure you're talking to your pediatrician. I mean, they do say breast is best. Now, that is king. Okay. <laughs> yeah, liquid gold, we call it. But not all women can breastfeed for, for one reason or another, so yeah. you have to know all of your options. But the point that we're making here is that don't let TikTok or any other social Nobody. media uh, dictate what you do. A baby is so precious. Right on. And we don't want to jeopardize oh. their health. When it comes to questions about you or your baby's health, we want to stress you should not, not be going to TikTok, TikTok for medical diagnoses. Go, Go see, see your, your doctor. doctor. Yes. We just said it. You heard it.